Hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Today, I'm going to play a romantic game for furries by furries. That's all. Let's just jump into it. My name is going to be Web Reaper because that's my title and I refuse to be funny. Oh shit, it doesn't fit. Alright, time to be funny man. Haha, <laughs> Webby, that's a little hilarious. If you don't know, this game was created by Dan and his team, the people behind Rivals of Ether, a Smash type game that is just Smash but with furries. I play it for the plot, I promise. <laughs> there she is, Aether High. Home of the Heartbreakers. Just look at her. Webby, have you ever seen something so beautiful? Solid as a rock she is, all done up in her purple and gold. She's a beauty, ain't she? Eh, I guess. Hey, you guessed right! <laughs> now let's get a move on. We're almost late. We'll never hear the end of it from Principal Loxodont. Phew, we made it. Right before the bell, too. I was sweating bullets there for a hot minute. Not that I can handle... Not that I can't handle a little heat. <laughs> it's cause he's a fire. Zedabun gives me a friendly nudge and plods over to his seat. What the fuck, plods? That is word choice. Is it a real word? I'm not gonna bother looking it up. Homeroom is as lively as ever. Rano is practicing his spin kicks in the corner. Forrest Burn is scribbling furiously in his notebook, but there's nothing sp But there is something special in the air. To something like... Love! That's right, the homecoming dance is tonight, and I still haven't asked anyone out! There are so many options, so many people I could ask, still, it feels like something or someone is missing. Well, no time to think about it now. Class President Maple marches to the head of the room and raps to the blackboard with a pointer, drawing everyone's attention. Ahem! Good morning, class! I hope everyone's excited for the homecoming dance tonight! Woohoo! Homecoming, baby! Silvano swoops enthusiastically, drawing a handful of laughs. Maple puts her hands on her hip and sighs. Thank you for your input, Silvanos. As I was saying, it has come to my attention that some of my more ardent supporters believe that I should be class president for life. I appreciate your faith in me. I therefore declare that we are holding a vote, all in favor of me, Maple, becoming class president for life. Say, yeah. Craig gives a weak yeah, although I wonder if he even understood the question. And all those opposed say, I hereby relinquish my right to attend the homecoming dance. The classroom buzzes with murmurs and whispers, but nobody opposes her. As I suspected, the yes have won. I am, from here on, the fairly and democratically elected class president for life, Maple. I thank you all for your love and support. Carry on. Maple marches back to her seat, and after a moment of confused silence, homeroom returns to the lively chaos from just moments before. First period doesn't start for a little while. Maybe now's a good chance to talk to some people. Okay. So now I'm tasked with a difficult decision. Okay, that's a little weird. Okay. So, I play Rivals. And I started with Absa. And I'm no furry, but she kind of cute. But now I play Eliana. And as an Eliana, as an Eliana main, as an Eliana main, snake waifu for laifu. What's up? <laughs> Hold on, gotta get a sip of water. Ah, refreshing. Can you believe that, Maple Webby? What a shameless power grab. She's a crooked as a $2 turning fork. Tuning fork. <laughs> See, the voice came in afterwards. I think she really has a thing for school spirit. Yeah, right. Are you blind? Are you deaf? Are you so totally unable to understand rudimentary socio-political maneuvers to not know that she is a power-hungry robber baron looking to thieve the crown from under our very noses? Huh? You need to start reading between the layers, Webby. Listen to the writing on the wall. Maple has a big... Bleep. Maple has big plans, and some brave soul has got to stop her. Okay! Well, that was fun. Let's talk to Absa now. 
What's up? <laughs> Good morning, Webby. <sighs> I barely slept last night. I was up studying so late. I don't know the feeling. It just captures my personality so well. Dan, did you come to my house? Oh, Webby, Lord knows how you even managed to skate by. It actually really diminishes my faith in the whole institution of education. It's just school, Absig. You shouldn't take it so seriously. I work hard in school because I want to succeed, Webby. Unlike you, I actually have a plan for my future. Oh, yeah? And what's that? Uh, I just said what it was. I'm going to work hard so I can succeed. Psh! Success is for losers. Webby, you are an enigma. A very stupid enigma. Nice. Raster's looking cool. I want to talk to him. What's fresh, Snickerdoodle? He got a bottle of gumdrop pudding on you or what? Raster, you're a cool guy, right? <laughs> the coolest and with the rudest dude, my dude. Do you know anything about talking to your crush? Crush? I don't really get crushes. Chicks, on the other hand. Holy rigatoni! Can I hold my oni against a little chicky bird and her wild and tricky chicky tricks? Raster, it's very hard to understand you. I speak the language of my heart, Webby. Speaking is a feeling, not a math equation. I don't know the meaning of the words. I just say them. I mean, fair. I suppose that's part of your charm. I'm like a radio, Webby. People listen to me because I'm on. Hmm. All right. Suddenly, Zetterburn catches my attention with a lively wave and lumbers over to my seat. He gives a playful grin and there's a twinkle in his eye, as if he's up to something. So, homecoming dance, huh? He's definitely up to something. Yeah, homecoming dance. So... He gives a cloying smile and crosses his arms as if he's trying to hold something back. It doesn't work. Okay, just spill it. Who are you asking? It's a secret. Aha! I knew it! Well, you know what they say about secrets, right? Zetterburn pauses in thought for a moment, then raises his finger as if he's about to make a great point. Well, they probably say something about him, so who is it? <laughs> Ooh, I know who it is. It's the new girl, isn't it? As if on cue, the door bursts open and Clarence steps through. She gives a strange, almost suspicious glance into the hallway before shutting the door and shrinking, and slinking into her desk. It is her, isn't it? Clarence, right? Yeah, she is kind of cute. She's a little cute. Aha, I knew it. You better make your move fast or I'll beat you to it. Huh, maybe I could talk to her for a little bit. I mean, what could it hurt? I walk over to Claren and pull up a seat next to her desk. Oh, hey, uh, Webby, right? I'm still trying to get all the me- I'm still trying to get all the names down. I remember yours for some reason, though. Heh. <laughs> Spooky! Why did I say that? Why am I so awkward?! <laughs> So, uh, hey, Claren, I was wondering. What was I wondering? Where are you from? Phew! Claren does a quick glance down at her watch and scratches the back of her head. Oh, uh, here and there, you know? I guess I, uh, travel a lot. I'm a traveler, so I travel. I don't know what her voice is yet. We'll, we'll get it, we'll get it along the way. At least I'm not the only awkward one here. That's cool. So, uh, anywhere in particular? <laughs> well, that's classified, but, uh, okay, maybe I can trust you. I know this is gonna sound weird, so bear with me. But I'm actually from... Suddenly, the PA system cuts in. A roaring, tinny screech that sounds like it should be covering, coming from an elephant. A cyborg elephant. This is your esteemed benevolent principal lecture, I'm speaking. First period is beginning in five minutes. Please report to your first period classroom in an orderly and pacified manner. Such an angry robot. 
and no discussion of the homecoming dance of the hallways. Toddlers will be punished to the full extent of patchy them. Law. That is all. Oh darn, class is starting. I'll talk to you later, Webby. See ya. Claren grabs her bag and rushes off. Well, I didn't totally blow it, I think. Zetterbird bounds up behind me and gives me a lighthearted jostle. So, uh, how'd it go, champ? You get a number? Uh, let's just go to class. Ouch! Well, at least you've got all day. Good luck! Sounds like you'll need it. Yeah. Look a little rocky. I like him. That's Craig's locker, isn't it? <laughs> Talk to Maple, Forest Burner, and Claren. Suppose just Claren. What's up? Claren sneakily looks down either end of the hallway before slinking into an empty room. Being the creepy voyeur that I am, I decide to follow her. Oh, fuck. Oh. I decide to follow her. She kneels down and pulls some kind of electrical device out of her backpack, which she plants on the wall. It makes a conspicuous zap sound, and Claren gets up bolting out of the room and bumping into me. Oof! Ouch! Oops! Uh, hey, Webby! Didn't mean to bump into you! She bashfully rubs the back of her neck. It's no prob. Hey, what was that weird device you were using back there? Claren does a startled jump, but quickly composes herself. Oh, oh, that? <laughs> yeah, that was a... a cell phone charger. Yeah, just a cell phone charger. That's all. That's not very convincing. Oh, duh, of course, a cell phone charger. Yep, just a regular cell phone charger. There's an awkward pause. Well, hey, it was good talking to you, Webby. I've gotta run. Maybe we can talk after class. She's definitely up to something. But what? The PA system suddenly cuts in, ushering us to our next destination. <laughs> Proceed to first period immediately! The rowdy students file into their first class, Ethereum History 101. I take a seat in the back near Raster, Zetterburn, Edelis, Crag, and Absa. Just as I look for Claren in the crowd, she slips into the seat desk behind me. Beside me. I apologize. Raster breathes a long, dramatic sigh. <laughs> Man, I'm wiped! I got none left in the tank! Let me guess, you just flew in, and boy are your arms tired! <laughs> That's a great joke. That's a great joke, Zetterburn. For your information, Fire Breath, I was out last night! With a little ladybird. Fuck, all these voices. <laughs> you sure it wasn't a ladybug? Ha 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 Wow, a slam dunk. Priceless. <laughs> Hey, you should have seen me, Papa. I was doing some diggity dance moves that would have made you cry. I don't doubt that. Raster is so cool, you guys. He's got so many tricks with the chicks. Illusions, more like. I don't get it. Did anybody study for the test today? What? There's a... Test? With that, Mrs. Granny gently raps on the board with her cane. <laughs> All right, Crash, shut your mouth! Today is your first test of the school year on Aetherian history. These are all basic questions about the world around you. You should have no trouble answering them. Watertown is the merchant capital of Aether. I played Rivals of Aether story mode. I know things. What is the name of the military arm of the Air Nation? Uh, Air Armada. Why was the rock wall built? Uh, ba ba ba, to protect and contain the forest. Who is the rock wall patrolled by? I'm gonna date Granny with all these answers. Boy, I'm gonna 100%, I'm gonna be smashing that Granny. I apologize. Uh, ba 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 ba. I'm gonna go with the wall rollers? Yeah, I don't know. Who controlled the skies before the Air Armada? The Elders of the Air Alliance? Makes sense. Where do the elders of the Air Alliance reside? Uh, Arkai Mountains, yeah! Some of these are guesses. What is the northernmost continent of Aether called? The... <laughs> the Chill Zone. Uh, the Ice Barrens. Hell yeah, brother! What people live in the Ice Barrens? The Ice Climbers! <laughs> the, the Baron Bears? Damn. What entity protects the Hyperboreans? The Glacier Wall? 
Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know things. What event caused the error Amada to form? I think it was founding of the water. Nope, okay. Hey, Webby, I'm having some trouble with this one. You wouldn't know the answer, would you? Yeah, it's... I'm not a bitch. Hmm, I'm not sure about that. Nah, I'm sure of it. Definitely. Who cares anyway? It's just school. You know, Webby, I admire your cavalier attitude towards the artificial structures of the education- eh. Again. You know, Webby, I admire your cavalier attitudes towards the artificial structures of the education establishment. Yeah, exactly! Enough dawdling! Idle minds of the devil's disco- What is that word? Disco thick? Fuck you. So get your books and get moving! Absa Maple or Craig? Aw, oh, Craig's kinda cute. Absa! Always gotta have a backup plan. Webby, I ate a whole bush for breakfast this morning. Well, what do you usually eat for breakfast? Just a bit of brush, actually. But this bush, it was delicious! I couldn't stop eating it. I started nibbling at it, and next thing I knew I was teething at twigs. What kind of bush was it? I don't know, I've never seen a bush like this before. The leaves were a deep magenta, and I had soft pink flowers, with a delicate scent, reminiscent of sage and fennel. Absa looks off and starts daydreaming. Absa? She is unresponsive. The PA slipped and suddenly cuts in, ushering us to our next destination. <laughs> Proceed the second period immediately! Oh boy, English class! Talk about a snoozer, nothing puts me to sleep faster than Mr. Kai's droning lectures. I don't think I've made it through one class without dozing off. Huh, that's strange. Look like he's not here yet. Hey, Eliana, catch! What, what? With a clumsy punch, Sylvanas careens his hemp haystack halfway across the classroom in a chaotic arc. Much to Sylvanas' dismay, the ball lands in Orkane's blowhole. Idiot! Halfway impressed with his hole in one, Sylvanas gives a goofy grin and shrugs as Orkane blows the haystack back. Or at least he tries to. The ball lands on Forsborn's desk, who is scribbling furiously over a notebook. My... my poem! Hey! Which one of you did that?! Uh, Orkane? It was definitely Orkane. You again, huh? I'm gonna pound the living daylights out of- Raster, cool as a cucumber, steps between the two and raises his feathered arms in a gesture of peace. What's your bag, Daddy-o? No need to get unglued. Let's save the theatrics for after the dance. Wouldn't want to show up with a fresh pair of shinas. Huh? Disaster averted. Forrest Burns sighs, slumps back into his chair, and gives Orkane the stink eye before getting back to his writing. Orkane gives Raster the closest thing to a thumbs up his paws can manage. Looks like we've got a little time before Mr. Kai shows up. Maybe I can chat with some people to pass the time. Waifu for laifu! What's up? Eliana's at her desk, poring over a book filled with very colorful pictures. I sit next to her and start up a conversation. Hey, Eliana, what you looking at? Is that some homework? Haha, <laughs> this? No way. It's a tattoo book. I'm trying to decide what tattoo I want to get next. Whoa, your parents let you get tattoos? Um, yeah, I'm a snake. If I get a bad tattoo, I just shut it off. <laughs> Come to think of it, I have seen you with some before. That's pretty cool. So, what do you think? Which one of these tattoos do you like the most? <laughs> you ever been given three bad options? <laughs> Let's go with that one. It's kind of gross, but maybe ironic, like the trucker hats of tattoos. Haha, <laughs> that's actually kind of funny. Yeah, I think that's what I'll get. Thanks, Webby. I, I didn't know you had such a good eye for these things. Yeah, me neither. Well, I'm gonna get back at some more. But your choice honestly wasn't too bad. See you later, Webby. He's gonna be so mad. He's so mad. Let's see what Abs is up to. What's up? Absa sits at her desk, chewing absentmindedly at her pencil eraser. She perks up when I walk by. Oh, Webby, this is kind of embarrassing, but, um... Could I ask you a favor? Sure, I guess. Please don't tell anyone, but I... accidentally ate my homework. Can I look at yours? Uh-oh. Homework? You ate your homework? It just looked so delicious! 
the delicate curves of my cursive, the sensitive but firm loops, the off-white college ruled paper. I couldn't control myself, Webby. <laughs> well, I guess you are a goat. Furries would be like... <laughs> So, um, would you mind if I looked at yours real quick? I'll be two seconds, I promise. Uh, that's a good point. Mr. Kai will know if our papers are too similar. Good thinking, Webby. Well, I guess I'm gonna try to hammer something out real fast. Thanks for listening. I guess Claren. Why not? Claren is off in a remote part of the room, furtively tinkering with something on the wall. Every once in a while, she gives a suspicious glance toward the door before resuming her work. Hey, Claren! What are you up to? She gives a startled jump and tries to hide whatever it was she was working on. It's not very subtle. Oh, hey, Webby. You kind of surprised me. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm not really doing anything. Just going over notes. That's all. It looked a little like you were messing around with something on the wall, but okay. Well, well, okay, M maybe a little. I was messing with a PA system. Just taking a look inside. Why? I guess I'm just interested in technology. Can I help? Actually... Claren paused for a moment to ponder her response. Yeah, you're cool. I think I could tell you. Suddenly, the PA system crackles with static and Principal Loxodont's dying car horn of a voice blares through. <laughs> it's your merciful yet altruistic Principal Loxodont speaking. Any students caught tampering with official will go really promptly suspended. Or worse. If you see anyone acting suspiciously, report them to me. Immediately! Resume learning! Crap! This has never happened, okay? I'll explain it all later. See ya! Okay. Suddenly, the door slams open. Mr. Kai stomps into the classroom and sits down at his desk. Excuse me, pupils. I'm sorry for the delay. I'm sure we're all itching to get to our English presentations. English presentations? <laughs> So we'll begin without a delay. Orkane, would you like to start us out? S Sorry, Mr. Kai! I'll have to go tomorrow! My human ain't my homework! A few students snicker as Mr. Kai folds his arm and rolls his eyes. You and I will have a word after class, Mr. Orkane. Alright then, how about... Gulp? You, Webby! Oh dear God. How'd I know he was gonna call me? I don't even know what the book was about! I slowly shuffle to the front of the class, as if seconds I've wasted will somehow spare me from my inevitable fate. Uh-oh. <laughs> hey, it's Dan. The class stairs feel like a million tons. I could feel their judgment. They know I didn't do the reading. Well, looks like I'll just have to wing it. Maybe if I talk about what my friends told me before class, I can make it through this. R right Ahem. <laughs> This story, like all stories, begins with a beginning. And like all beginnings, this beginning begins with... Hungry goats eating everything I see. After a grueling journey, our heroes had to contend with anime. Overall, the moral of the story is... Bad tattoos last your whole life unless you're a snake. <laughs> that was... Mr. Kai pauses for a moment to ruminate. I could feel a bead of sweat start to trickle down my forehead. You could cut the tension in the air with a knife. The most creative interpretation of Animal Farm I've ever heard, Webby. Well done, you get an A plus for your presentation. It was the anime that sold him. I sigh a breath of relief, visibly defeated, ah, deflating as I drift back to my desk and melt into my seat. Now, Sylvanas, would you give your presentation? My, my human also hate my homework. Hate. He hates it. Maple, Eliana, Craig, Eliana's, Snake Waifu for life -o. Whoop! Uh, I hate everyone always making fun of me, Webby. They are? Yes, can't you tell? Can't you hear all the snickering and screeching? It just sounds like regular hallway ambience. No, everyone hates me, Webby, but what they don't understand is that I hate them all so much more! Okay! The PA system suddenly cuts in, ushering us to our next destination. <laughs> Proceed to third period immediately! The computer lab looks like it's straight out of the 80s. The computers are so old, they were probably here when my parents went to Aether High. I sit down at a workstation next to Eliana, who slowly hunts and pecks keys with her face. 
It looks like extremely uncomfortable. She gives me an exasperated look. <laughs> it's a marathon, not a sprint. The computer lab buzzes with energy as the day draws closer to its end. Everyone is excited about homecoming and rumors are starting to spread. You're never gonna believe who I who asked Zetterburn to the dance. Oh. I mean, Ay Ayala, really? Like, did she really think she had a shot with? And let's be totally honest here, the guy who's probably gonna be picked for Homecoming King? I don't know. <laughs> well, you should hear what's going on about Webby! Okay. My ears suddenly perk up. Oh, I think I heard about that. Isn't Webby going to ask... Absa's tantalizing rumor is cut off when class door slams and Professor Swiftwing stumbles ponderously inside. He insists we call him a, profess a professor even though he only has an associate's degree from Air Armada Community College. Yo, that's me! I just flew in from the fire capital and boy are my... whatever. The classroom takes on a bewildering din as Professor Swiftwing storms angrily to his desk. When he stumbles over Absa's bag, he looks like he's about to explode in rage, but somehow wills himself to hold back. Today isn't the day. Don't speak to me. Don't look at me. Just play the darn computer game. And form your own darn groups. I don't care who you partner with. Not today. Teams, huh? Maybe this is my shot to chat up my crush. Uh-oh. Who am I gonna pick? Out of nowhere or Kane? No, we're gonna see what I'm a man of my word. Snake waifu for life. Have I said it enough? Uh oh. Level start. Webby, can I tell you something? Stereotypes run in this school. Am I using that right? This school is rife with stereotypes, Webby. Now, stereotypes, usually I disavow them. They are vile, hideous way to characterize a person, to associate them with a few choice details, and then extrapolate those into an offensive caricature. It's wrong! It's wrong, Webby! I'm trying to play a game, too. And we are every day! <laughs> I didn't read it, I'm sorry. When I see people behaving exactly, exactly in line with their associated, it infuriates me, Webby. These deluded cookie cutter fools! So unoriginal, even their deepest thoughts, that they're not even able to construct their own personality. Do you see what I'm saying, Webby? They act like stereotypes because they think they're supposed to. Because the archetypes they see on TV, the Beckys and Johns, they've got more personalities than these bozos could imagine. And I'll tell you what makes me sick, Webby. What makes me truly sick are these Beckys and Johns who tell me to let my freak flag fly. What? I was already d uh, you don't like my freak flag, Johnny! Cause my freak flag makes your freak flag look like garbage. Cause I am a genuine freak! Not some sociopath looking for freak sympathy points! I don't get sympathy! I get sat on! And stepped on! But do you see me complaining? Do you see me running the principal Occident? Naming names? Never! Because I have integrity! Something these hacks will never understand! She's so angry. And it's why they will fail! And it's why their systems will fail! <laughs> Done with the systems of lives! Down with the endless student president Maple! Down with the endless principal Loxodont! Huff huff! <laughs> huff! <laughs> uh oh, I messed up. Sorry for all the screaming, Webby. Student policies, I mean, whatever. Computers were never my strong suit, and I feel like I've demonstrated that more adequately today. Professor Swiftwing, trembling so angrily he can barely contain himself, stomps over to me and puts his hand on my shoulder. <laughs> Looks like things aren't going so hot over here, huh? Computers are not really my best subject. I'm going to have to make a note of this in the log. What's your name? Uh, Bradshaw. <laughs> okay, Bradshaw. I'm sure your parents won't be happy to hear about this at all. Probably not. With class over, I grab my bag and bolt into the hallway before Bradshaw or anyone else can call me out over my stolen identity. Fuck Claren, why not? What's up? Forsburn places... Ah! Forsburn paces back and forth nervously behind Claren, who opens her locker and rifles around for a moment. 
The nervous hyena takes a step towards her, pauses in trepidation, collects himself, and finally approaches her. Um, hi, Claren. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. The same voice. <laughs> oh, hi. Didn't see you there. You're Zetterburn. You're Zetterburn's brother, right? Sideburn? <laughs> Forsburn! Um, I, I wanted to talk to you about something really important. Sure, what's up? I, uh, mumble rumble. So I was thinking maybe, mumble mumble. Um, go to the dance with me? Uh, how could I not? Um, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do for homecoming yet, but thanks for the invitation. Horsburn turns around and clenches as hard as Claire and gives me a wide-eyed look of panic. I need to heal. I need to feel. I need to know that this is real. Forsburn trudges off dejectedly, muttering something under his breath. How utterly bizarre. Wow, uh, so you saw that, huh? Yeah, kind of awkward. Sorry. I'm not sure I've ever spoken to him before. Don't get me wrong, there's something kind of alluring about him, the whole brooding poet thing, but still... Uh-oh. Competition! Oh crap, the bell's about to ring. See you later, Webby. We'll talk- we'll- we'll laugh about this later. The PA system suddenly cuts in, ushering us to our next destination. Yeah, proceed to your homes finally. Y'all get it, I don't want it. My throat hurts. <laughs> what a day. A surprise history test, an English presentation for a book I didn't read, and a computer lab. I, and I haven't even gotten to the hardest part. Asking someone to the dance! I plop down into my seat and close my eyes, tuning out the homeroom chaos as I take a deep, meditative breath. As I take deep meditative... Yeah. Okay, I can do this. I've been going over the lines in my head for the last hour. Play it cool. Be like Raster. No, no, I couldn't pull it off. Just be myself. Be genuine. Sincere. Like Crag. Or maybe sensitive and brooding, like Forsburn. But a little funny, too. Like Orkane. Or maybe... Oh! <laughs> Zetterburn breaks my trance with an overly enthusiastic pat on the back and sits down on the other side of the table, straddling his seat with the swagger of a spaceship commander. So, school's almost over. You gonna ask anyone to the dance, or are you chickening out? Well, I guess that just makes you the laughingstock of Aether High now, doesn't it? So don't blow it. Ha <laughs> ha! So, who are you asking, you know? I heard a rumor going about you and Bradshaw. Uh, haha, <laughs> I'm just yanking your chain. Really, though. I've heard some things going around the grapevine. Amigo? Or, uh, is it Amiga? I'm not doing so caliente in Spanish class. This is it. It's time to do it. It's time to finally ask someone to the dance, but who is it going to be? Craig. I am a man of conviction. Ask Eliana to the dance. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I flippin' knew it. Seriously, I ship you two. <laughs> I can't help but roll my eyes. Really, though, I could kinda tell. I mean, the way you've been sneaking looks this whole conversation. Hey, get to it. School's almost over. You're gonna knock it out of the park. I'm sure of it. Alright, it's the moment of truth. Feeling pretty good about this, but still, she is a snake. Snakes are famously unreliable. Hey, Eliana. Webby, my hero, lol XD. Haha, <laughs> 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 internet speak. I'm hip to it. Webby, did we not totally crush the establishment today? We sure did. I feel like the reverberations of our actions will be felt throughout the school. It's my hope that each and every student at Aether High will feel the ripple of revolution flow through their body today. Hey, Eliana, I actually had a question I wanted to ask you before the bus fell. Oh? Go ahead, Webby. I'm listening. Well, did you want to go to the homecoming dance with me tonight? Webby, of course I will. I'm so glad you asked. Really? Oh my god, Webby, yes, you're so subversive today. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a bit of a subverter. You like that, huh? Love, Webby, love. Pick me up at six. I'll see what I can do. Sorry, I was trying to be subversive. Six, yeah. Sounds good. I'll be there. Going to the homecoming dance with a purple snake? This feels like the beginning of a brand new adventure. 
Hopefully she doesn't make me commit any political assassinations. Look at all those other furries. Congratulations! Looks like someone dropped a cassette over here. The Long Tale of Revenge. Uh, I feel like I gotta play it. Oh, I see you and me by the ding dong tree, and everyone can see what I can see. And that's a you and me, you and me, yeah. you and me swinging by the ding dong tree. This is happening. We're not gonna listen to the whole thing, but there we go. For Valentine's Day, I got to go to homecoming with my waifu. Remember, this could all be yours. Have a happy Valentine's Day, and see y'all next time.